We don't know exactly how the moon started orbiting our planet. The giant impact hypothesis has been a prevailing theory since the 1970s. It's thought some stellar body, about a tenth the weight of Earth, rammed into the forming planet and knocked enough debris free to form what would eventually become the moon. The theory held this early impact body would have a different chemical composition than Earth, because we've seen the trait in other planets in planet-like masses in the solar system. But a new study from researchers in Israel and France suggests the impact body was very similar materials-wise to Earth. Author Haggai Peretz spoke to Nature. We see that other objects in the solar systems have different composition from the Earth, so we should expect the Moon also to have very different composition, which is exactly opposite to what we see. They are almost identical. A writer at Space.com says it's not totally unreasonable. The composition of protoplanets depended in large part on where they orbited in the solar system. The scientists found that as each planet assembled, the last protoplanet to collide with it probably shared a similar orbit. Thus, protoplanets that share similar birthplaces can also share a similar composition. And this ties conveniently into other recent research. Two new investigations into moon rocks in the US and Germany detail the late veneer hypothesis, which states after the impact that formed the moon, both it and the Earth collected a layer of additional additional material in the form of meteorite impacts. The greater mass and gravity of Earth suggests it should have a larger collection, which it does. But analysis from both of these studies shows Earth and the Moon were chemically similar before gathering their meteorite layers, a finding that both challenges older models of lunar formation and lends support to the newest version. All three studies are published in the journal Nature. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.